Oswald Reedus is controlling this robotic arm through a headset, reading his brain waves. The 68-year-old suffered a stroke back in 2014. It paralyzed him on his left side, and he couldn't speak. After years of therapy, he can talk again, but his motor skills are limited. Smells good, though. <laughs> I can't go into my backyard without my brace on. Uh, and I can't do anything uh, like normal men do, uh, like uh, changing the air filter in my AC unit. Uh, um, standing on the ladder, you know, I can't do anything, any, any of that anymore. Now, he's hoping this technology will help him recover the use of his arm. Here we go again. And the University of Houston says he's the first person in the world to make use of what might become a novel medical device at home. The device from the University of Houston and TIRR Memorial Hermann Hospital in Texas is undergoing clinical trials. It works like this. When the headset detects that Redis wants to move his arm, it moves the robotic limb, but not entirely. He still needs to make an effort with his own arm to complete the motion. Repetition is key. The headset's designers say those calls and responses between the brain, the body, and robotic movement help rewire a stroke victim's brain to gradually regain control of their limb. Good job. In a process called neuroplasticity. Dr. Gerard Francisco is the clinical lead. Therapy is still the most important um, um, the way that we can help people recover from a stroke. Exercise, repetition, robots will provide a, a repetitive, predictable movement. Robots will not get tired so that it can provide the necessary amount of repetitions because we know that certain amount of repetition is required in order for us to rewire that part of the brain that um, is responsible for movement. Since Redis's mother and brother also died from strokes, he was eager to help its designers. Anything that will help a person like me, uh, I think is a godsend. Uh, people, if they can, they can get the price down, or and if the insurance companies will uh, say, yes instead of no, it will help a lot of people.